Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to restore the IMEI of a Blue Studio Selfie. It's running a MT6580 processor, so we're going to take out the battery out of the phone, put it back in, plug in the phone in the USB, and we're going to use Miracle Box to read the information first, just to make sure that um, that yeah, I'm going to be using the right processor. Uh, okay, so here is the information. It shows at the top is a Blue Studio selfie. It's a Blue S070Q V10 generic firmware. Um, it's a MT6580 processor with a eMMC flash memory. So we're going to go over to NCK dongle, select O by CPU, and scroll down to MT6580. And we're going to try and make our way to the IMEI Utilities tab. No, not service. IMEI Utilities. Uh, so I'm going to. I already have the IMEIs copied here. I'm going to put them in. Put in the first IMEI and hit repair IMEI. Meanwhile, I'm getting the phone ready. I'm not going to hit that just yet. I'm getting the phone ready. Okay, I hit it. And I'm going to plug the phone in. This phone hasn't been installed on the computer before. So we're going to watch it. We're going to wait until all the necessary drivers are installed for this phone. So yeah, as you can see, it's a MT65XX, which is a 6580 processor, and it's installing. There's a couple more things to be installed, CDC serial driver, Linux file CD gadget USB. So as you can see, it's, the, it's on COM port 55. Right, so it's done. I think I may have to stop this operation and restart it. I'm not sure. Let's wait a little bit and see. Usually, NCK dongle redetects the phone after a couple seconds or so. If it doesn't, I'll just stop it and start over the process. I'm not going to be cutting out anything out of this video, so if there are any mistakes made, I want you to see them. Just so you know what not to do. Okay, I'm going to stop it and restart the process. I'm going to rip, stop. I'm going to go back up to the top. And uh, it repair IMEI. Now I'm going to plug in the phone, remove the battery, plug the phone in, put in the battery, wait for it to power on into meta mode, and there, the IMEI has been re restored to the phone. As you can see down here. Okay. So now it's time for IMEI number two. So I'm going to copy the IMEI number 2 and put it here, paste, repair IMEI, and uh, same process as before, unplug the phone, remove the battery, replace the battery, plug the phone back into the computer, wait for it to be detected. Okay, so that IMEI has been restored, but wait a minute, wait a minute, it seems that we have made a mistake, yes, as I said before, I'm not going to be editing out any mistakes, because I want, to see, want you to see the, the common mistakes that can be made, 
And what I did was restore both IMEIs to the same IMEI number. Now I'm going to restore restore it the right way this time. So I'm going to replace the IMEI one again. And hit repair IMEI. As you can see where it says IMEI NR at the top right there it's selected uh, IMEI 1 is selected so we are waiting for the phone to be detected again okay here it comes so I'm going to go back to this notepad here and copy the second IMEI. Yeah, the first IMEI has been restored. It says IMEI 1 there. We're going to select IMEI 2 and paste the second IMEI into that form field and it repair IMEI. And repeat the process again. Remove battery, remove the cable, replace the battery replace the cable wait for the phone to be detected All right so IMEI 2 has been restored and as you can see right beside right next to the IMEI is the letter 2 the number 2 showing you that the second IMEI has also been updated and the process is done right now the phone is turning on right now so when it's when it's turned on it will be able to make calls connect to the internet and all of that because it wasn't doing that before okay guys i hope this video helped you thanks for watching as usual hope you hope you learn from my mistakes